Hello everyone, I am Namrata Hegde, PhD scholar at the Department of Biotechnology, Kaili Technological University, Hubali. I am also the director at Vega Herbals Private Limited. My innovation is titled Development of Herbal Formulation to Treat Early Stage Breast Cancer. Breast cancer is the most prevalent cancer in India and the current methods of treatment include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy and hormone therapy. However, these methods have severe drawbacks including adverse effects like hair loss, weakened immune system, anemia, etc. They are also expensive. This is where our solution, the herbal formulation fits in. In the laboratory trials, the crude plant extract have shown promising anti-cancer activity against three cell lines, that is breast, oral and lung cancer cell lines. The product we are planning to formulate will be a gel or ointment kind of herbal formulation to treat early stage breast cancer. Today, I am here to share my journey of innovation and entrepreneurship. So it all started in the month of March or April 2020, precisely the beginning of COVID era in India. The National Innovation Contest came as a blessing in disguise for most of us, the National Innovation Contest participants. It was a highly enriching and educating experience along with the perks of receiving funding. When the contest was announced, the information came to us through KLE CTI and we sent out a PPT summarizing our innovation based on the pointers given by the institute. And our institute did an internal review, shortlisted around 5 innovations and sent it to the national level contest. And after this, we underwent many rounds of training and evaluation by MOE's Innovation Cell and AICTE. And finally, we became the winners of National Innovation Contest in November 2021. It was almost a one and a half year journey wherein we learned a lot of things sitting at home and we won a funding of 6 lakh rupees. I have recently incorporated my company with the name Vega Herbals on 13th April 2022. This is a snapshot from the bootcamp on startup planning and development which was conducted by MOA's Innovation Cell. I also participated in the Azadi Ki Amrit Mahotsav Innovation Week in virtual mode from 10th to 16th January 2022. This is a snapshot of my e-exhibit stall. I have also been invited as a speaker into engineering institute outside of my host institute including Vivekananda College of Engineering for Women and Karunya Institute of Technology on National Science Day after winning the National Innovation Contest. Recently, we had a startup tour at my institute, Kaili Tech University, hosted for the students and faculty, where I presented my innovation. Throughout this journey, there has been immense support from my institute, Kaili Tech University, regarding the ecosystem. For the R&D, I have received immense support from my mentor, Dr. Hungun, from Biotech Department. Kaili CETA and C Center for Innovation and Product Development helped me prepare the business plan. Dr. Guttal, Mr. Prakash Kodekar and Mrs. Sujata Lakshmeshwar from IP Cell, Kaylee Tech answered any queries related to IP. While preparing my pitch deck, I received valuable feedback from Mrs. Soumya Kudaki from Kaylee Sita and Mr. Amit Varnekar, one of the Kaylee Tech alumni who has successfully had a startup in the biotech domain. So, what are the difficulties and advantages of being an entrepreneur? Firstly, it is a challenging journey. It would be helpful if you prepared yourself mentally. As a researcher, I had little idea about the business aspect and I took it as an opportunity to learn new skills. Secondly, there is uncertainty until the product or service reaches the market and is received well by the consumers. There is also the risk of not having a steady source of income at least during the initial years. However, I think it is the right time to embark on an entrepreneurial journey. I would say it's a golden era for entrepreneurs in India. Many government schemes support entrepreneurs in terms of training, funding and they also give networking opportunities. For me, the role of a mentor has been that they guide us on the subject matter. Also, they provide us with a network. They already have a network of people due to their rich experience. So they can always connect us to the right person at the right time and they tell us where to look for answers rather than giving all the answers. I think that is more valuable. 
The potential impact envisioned for our innovation is that there will be a decrease in the mortality rate and an improvement in the quality of life of first and second stage breast cancer patients. In future, we plan to acquire funding for scaling up the production and introduce a new line of herbal product every two years. We anticipate going for IPO or merger and acquisition by the end of 2032. I would like to thank our Vice Chancellor Dr. Ashok Shetter, KLE Tech University, KLE CTI, KLE CIPD for the entrepreneurial ecosystem provided by them. I also acknowledge the MOE's Innovation Cell and AICT and IIC for the training and funding we have received. I also I thank my family for their constant support. You can contact me at the following email ID.